Hi, my name is Akemi from Boston Children's Museum. Welcome to the fourth episode of our Oshogatsu, the Japanese New Year's celebration video program. Today we will have another Kamishibai storytelling, and the story title is Hats for Jizos or Kasajizo in Japanese. Hi, I'm Naoko from the Japan Society of Boston. Jizo is a guardian for children and travelers in Japan. People usually call them Ojizo sama out of respect. If you're walking down the street in Japan, whether you're in the city or the countryside, you might see a stone statue of Jizo by the roadside. Jizo statues usually have a peaceful smile. Thank you, Naoko san. Today's Kamishibai storyteller is my friend Antonio. Antonio advocates and develops many literacy programs in the museum. Now make yourself comfortable and let's welcome Antonio. Hello, my name is Antonio, and I'm the school readiness and community liaison at the Boston Children's Museum. And this is our exhibit and classroom, Countdown to Kindergarten where we promote skills for school readiness for our visitors. This is our dramatic play area where we tell stories. And today I have a special story told in the Japanese Kamishibai tradition. In the early 1900s, there were many Kamishibai men who would ride their bicycles to sell candy to children throughout Japan. And his bicycle will have in the back a box where he will tell stories to attract the children. When the children heard this sound, they knew the Kamishibai man was close by and it was time for story time. So they would all gather in front of the Kamishibai, which was in the back of the bicycle to hear the story. And this way, the Kamishibai man will continue his travel from neighborhood to neighborhood telling Kamishibai stories. The story for today is titled, Hats for Jesus. Let's see what is it about. Come join me and gather sitting down in front of the Kamishibai, just like the old days. Long, long ago, in a certain village, there lived an old man and an old woman who were very poor. They were so poor, in fact, that you could not find not even one grain of rice to make rice cakes to celebrate the New Year holiday. The old woman was very sad and brought out a piece of cloth. Now, take this cloth to town, good husband, and sell it. Then buy some food with the money so we can celebrate the new year. I can't do that. Why? It's taking you months to weave that cloth. Now, don't you worry about that. Are you sure? Well, if it's really all right with you, then I'll go and sell it. So the old man left for town. Cloth, cloth, who would like some cloth? When the old man got to town, he walked all around trying to sell the piece of cloth. But it was New Year's Eve. People were so busy preparing for the holiday that no one was interested. Cloth, cloth, isn't there anyone who buys some nice hand woven cloth? No one even turned to look at him. The old man's voice became hoarse from shouting as he threw along the road. Suddenly, boom! Oops, sorry old man, I wasn't looking where I was going. Forgive me. The old man sat 
saw that the other man was selling straw hats. No, no, it was my fault. I was feeling sad and not looking where I was going. Hmm, now, what is making you feel sad? You see, I came to town to sell this piece of cloth, but everyone is so busy tonight that no one even stops to take a look at it. Really? The same thing happened to me. I came to town to sell some straw hats, but haven't sold even one. Say, I have an idea. Since neither of us can sell anything, why don't we just trade what we have? Good idea. So without asking any question, the good hearted old man traded the piece of cloth for the straw hats. Why, there are five of these hats and nice ones too. That's right. Anyway, this is better than just going back home with what we left with. Well then, I'll be on my way now. Have a happy new year. Thanks, you too, old man. The old man threw the hat over his shoulder and started his way home. Before long, large flakes of snow began to fall. It's starting to snow pretty hard. Say, what's that up ahead? He could make out a road of human-like figures standing still in the snow. As the old man drew near, he could see that there were six statues of Jesus, the guardian of children and travelers, standing in the middle of the field. They stood in silence as the snow fell thickly around them. The Jesus looked so cold that the old man began to feel sorry for them. Oh dear, tomorrow is New Year's Day and no one have brought you any rice cakes for you. I'm afraid it's not going to be much of a holiday for you, dear Jesus. And with all this snow, you must be very cold too. Hmm. I just happen to have these straw hats. Let me put them on you to protect you from the snow. The old man carefully placed a straw hat on the first Jesus and the second Jesus and the third Jesus and the fourth Jesus and the fifth Jesus. Oh no, there aren't enough hats. There are six Jesus and five straw hats. So of course, there aren't enough. All I have to put on you, dear Jesus number six, is this thin scarf I'm wearing. Saying this, the old man took off his scarf and tied it onto the head of the last Jesus. Good, it all worked out just right. I wish you a happy new year. Then the old man walked home in the snow without feeling cold at all. When he got home, he began to tell his wife all that had taken place. You know, first this happened, and then that happened, and I ended up exchanging the cloth for some straw hat which I gave to the poor Jesus standing in the snow. Upon hearing this, the old woman replied without hesitation, my goodness, that was a fine thing you did. Since we don't have any special food, let's just celebrate the new year by eating and drinking what we always do. Yes, let's do that. Tomorrow is New Year's Day. Oshogatsu, away the hour with hearts so gay. Oshogatsu, we'll feast all day and have to drink sparkling clear rice wine. Snow white rice is best we think. With fish, it tastes just fine. 
The old couple felt young at heart as they sang this song, nibbling on their plain pickled vegetables and sipping hot water. This is how they greeted the new year. After eating their simple meal, the old couple went to bed early. The snow continued to fall steadily throughout the night. The old couple's house was almost buried in the snow. Sometime in the wee hours of the night, the old couple heard from far, far away in the snowy silence, the sound of chanting. Good husband, listen. What are these voices? They sound to me like people carrying something very heavy. The chanting voices drew near and near the old couple's house. Where's the house of the old man who gave the hats to the Jesus? Good husband, the voices are saying something about hats for Jesus. Why now? I can hear them right outside our door. Boom! Oh no, what a terrible sound. The old man and the old woman covered their ears, trembling with fright, but they did not hear the sound again. Dear old man, dear old woman, stay well, please stay well. Sean, Sean. Dear old man, dear old woman, stay well, please stay well. Sean, Sean. And so the chanting voices faded away in the distance. Finally, the old couple could no longer contain their curiosity. They jumped out of bed and pushed the heavy door open. What in the world is this? Lying there in front of their door was a huge straw bag overflowing with food and presents for the new year. Rice cakes, fish, beautiful kimono, and precious gold coins. There on the road covered over by the steady falling snow, the old man and the old woman could make out the six Jesus as they slowly disappeared into the darkness. Dear old man, dear old woman, stay well, stay well. Their voices faded away with them. Niditashi, meditashi. And so the old man and the old woman lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you, Antonio. Joyasa, joyasa, shan, shan. I hope you enjoy the Kamishibai storytelling program. In the next video, we will have a special guest artist from Otaiko, New England, and we'll learn about the Japanese taiko drumming. See you soon again. Jamatane. Bye bye.